Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Don Michael. Today's topic is on here comes baby and there goes my sex life. So I'm gearing this video towards men because I think many times men get left out uh, once baby arrives and some men have some mixed emotions about it. They may feel extreme joy with the baby, but they may also feel like they are missing their wife and they're wondering when they're going to get her back, especially when it comes to sex. And this can be a big topic and something that can create some resentment, some hard feelings if it's not brought out in the open and it's not talked about. But what I find most is that people really are not educated on the topic and so once they really understand um, where the boundaries are and how to approach it, I think that it can, it can go much smoother than it usually does. Obviously, once the baby comes, you want to go by the doctor's recommendation on when it's okay to have sex again. And so it really depends on the birth, of course, C-section, vaginal, any complications, um, if she had an episiotomy. Once all that's out of the way, really the couple should get back to being intimate with each other. And this may be a slow process, but at least start off with the hugging and the kissing and the touching and putting a little bit of time aside to start to get back into um, maybe slowly having intercourse. Now I will say that the longer the couple waits to be intimate with each other, usually that's when the resentment happens or when maybe a husband gets frustrated and feels like if he asks his wife that maybe he's being a bad husband or that he shouldn't really be putting pressure on her and sometimes women will just kind of you know let this slide because of course they're tired with the baby uh, hormones do play a part in this after the baby comes a uh, woman many times may not feel that sexual desire but once in an intimate situation where she can take a deep breath, where she can feel like maybe the baby is asleep for a while. Then she can focus on her husband and allow him to touch her and to kind of get that desire back. Because right after having a, a baby, because of sleep deprivation, because of you know, the new addition, maybe the excitement. If it's your first child, it's going to be like, wow, your routine has completely changed. If it's your second or third child, you know a little bit more how to handle it. But again, it's one more person that you're spending time with and that time is taken away from the marriage. So couples really do need to know how to balance their lives once a child comes into the family. And part of that is not to forget about being intimate with one, en one another and having sex. And so coming up with a routine in the beginning is important. And as a husband, it's okay to say to your wife, I miss you, I miss being intimate with you, um, I enjoy having sex with you, I want to know when we can, you know, start to have that again. And if she is, is feeling good with that, then slowly start to touch her again. Uh, one way to get back into it is to have her maybe be on top because that way she can really be in control of uh, penetration of how quickly the rhythm of it. If she has any pain, she can back away. So that may be a great position to get started in. Another position is uh, kind of the spooning where the man is behind the woman. She can lift her leg over and he can kind of rub around her clitoris and then slowly um, do penetration. So 
that it's all a slow process, that she's getting turned on, he has her neck, he can kiss her, be more sensual. Oftentimes women will like more of that connected feeling, uh, especially if a woman is breastfeeding, her um, hormones are going to be a little more heightened and so she might like to have a little bit more of the cuddling uh, affectionate it really depends on the person though and so what I want to say to to both to the husband and the wife to the man and the woman is that it's okay to talk about it it's okay to want to work slowly into it and if you're a guy and you're feeling that you're pressuring your wife and that she's maybe making you feel bad about it you do need to bring that up with her and if it's gone on for several months then the two of you may need to uh, seek some counseling I often tell uh, men to have their wives watch some of the videos so that I can explain to her that you're not going to feel desire immediately, but once you get back into touching and kissing and holding each other, that the desire will be there and that your husband really needs you to still be his wife. Because sometimes women forget after having a baby that they still need to be uh, their husband's wife and that men get kind of pushed aside the baby gets all the attention and they really feel left out and men do get a real sense of closeness with their wife through sexual intimacy through having sexual intercourse now I'm just gonna read off a quick list on how to kind of balance your life out and I'm going to just give you 10 items that usually most couples deal with on a regular basis and then kind of help you put things into a priority. So um, what you have to balance usually in a marriage is obviously your, your children, yourself, meaning leisure time, which is extremely important that each of you have some leisure time uh, so that you feel like you can still be an individual. Uh, health is extremely important, that you take care of yourself, that you don't get sick or run down, that you get enough sleep. Uh, if you have some other health problems, that you make sure to go to the doctor and deal with it. And this could even be for the woman if she's having any hormone, hormonal issues um, or any pain associated with sex you want to take care of that as well. Friends, um, that's one of the things. It's nice eventually to maybe, you know, have a friend or two in your life. Uh, family, work, of course, and income. Um, couples time. So don't forget to have a date night or to go on a vacation or just to do something fun intimacy, sexual intimacy, not just touching and kissing, but also having intercourse orgasms are great and pleasing each other sexually. Family time. So now that you're having a baby or if you have other kids that you balance out your family time. And lastly, all the fun thing like chores, you know, doing laundry, cooking dinner, going to the grocery store, working on your car, working on your house. So Really, if you think about it, most couples are kind of juggling these uh, these 10 things in their life, and it's really about finding that balance. The balance is so important, but I will say one thing that I'm going to put at the top of the list, and I think that most people don't do this, and it really makes for a better life altogether if you can, number one, make sure that your health uh, is good. So if you're feeling sick all the time or if you're tired all the time or something's not right with your health, you really do need to take care of that. Next would be your marriage. Your marriage is right there. I mean it does come before really anything else on this list. Obviously then come your children and your work and then the rest you kind of figure out in between. Another one I would put up there in five is having a little time for yourself. 
Um, but you really do need to learn how to balance your life and that can take time. But once you set up a routine, you have a calendar, things are made so much easier nowadays where everything is right at your fingertips. Uh, you can have calendars, reminders, and so that really does help balance your time. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and gotten something from it. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends or people that you know. Uh, subscribe to my channel and of course leave your comment. As you know, I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life. And so do you.